Now, when it comes to cryptocurrency, we have been seeing prices move higher in the overall crypto market recently. But man, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coin have been outpacing the rest of the pack. Guys, we've got Shiba Inu coin up to around 1,600 points per coin. Dogecoin is sitting at eight and a half, nine cents per coin, and the gains could get much better from here. In this video, I want to talk about how this is a major indicator that confidence and retail investors are jumping back into the crypto space, and we know what happens when retail jumps in. FOMO could absolutely kick in as well. FOMO is fear of missing out, and that could lead to some spectacular gains. And I also want to talk about the technical levels of resistance on both Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coin, because the levels we're testing right now, if they're broken through, man, we could see easy 20, 30, 40% gains from where we're at until we reach the next levels. So let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting 6 free stocks, $1 crypto trades, you're going to get $5 in free crypto. And yes, you can choose between Shiba Inu coin or Dogecoin if you would like. So make sure to check that out before these things start running wild, right? I mean, nobody wants to miss out and nobody wants to be a part of that FOMO. So go, go check that out before we get here or get too high here. But let's talk about the confidence that is being restored in cryptocurrency. Guys, over the last month or so, we have seen a lot of speculation and a lot of hype surrounding the Ethereum merge. And this had a, I mean, it had a trickle down effect to all of the other cryptocurrencies. Ethereum soaring in value from roughly $800, $900 per coin, up to around 2000, and I do believe it's between 18 and $1900 per coin now. Bitcoin testing lows at 17, 18,000, and now it's sitting around 23, 24,000. So we have been seeing some nice moves in cryptocurrency over the last month or so, but Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coin over the last couple of days have been massively outpacing the overall crypto market and outpacing gains seen in any of these other coins, tokens, and so on. Dogecoin sitting right around eight and a half cents right now. Shiba Inu coin sitting right around 1600 points per coin. A lot of people thought that the Shiba Inu coin wasn't going to be able to maintain these gains that it hit just over the last couple of days. And yet here we are continuing to find support at these levels. Now this indicates massive confidence returning to the cryptocurrency market for a couple different reasons. And I just want to touch on a couple of them, but you have We've discussed a lot in the past, risk on and risk off scenarios. Because of the economy and because of things, you know, in the overall market being very difficult and a lot of headwinds for crypto, including, but of course not limited to, we've got inflation, we've got GDP, we've got rising interest rates. All of these things are bad for risk on asset growth. It means that if you have higher interest rates, you can receive a higher return on safer investments. If you have higher inflation, it is bad for cryptocurrency in stocks because companies aren't able to earn as much. If you have a falling GDP, it indicates that less spending is going on and the economy is in a recession. And if people are not spending and things, the environment is not conducive to growth in the overall crypto space, it leads to a risk off sentiment. And that means that investors move from risky assets to safer or non-risky assets. And of course, there's no such thing as a risk-free asset. But when you're talking uh, non-risky or risk off, you're talking things like bonds, CDs, bank accounts, savings accounts, and so on. So knowing that we're seeing Shiba Inu coin and Dogecoin outpace the rest, we know that Shiba Inu and Dogecoin are both retail favorites, and, and we saw what they were capable of in 2021. Dogecoin going from a couple cents, 
I think it was um, at the beginning of 2020 or 2021, it may have been less than a cent. I know at the end of 2020, it was certainly less than a cent. Rolling all the way up to 70 something cents. Shiba Inu coin gaining millions of percent returns. And I absolutely believe, although they might not be capable of the same percentage growth, because we already have massive market caps, I do believe that they are set to soar when retail begins to jump back into the cryptocurrency market. And that is what we are seeing right now. Shiba and Doge basically outpacing the rest of the market, and it indicates that confidence, especially retail investor confidence, is returning, and that risk-off sentiment may be, may be permanently switching back over to risk-on sentiment, and the start of a potential next bull run could be happening. That's not to say, you know, go and FOMO and jump in right now. Absolutely, there's still risk out there. The economy is not better. You know, we still have falling GDP. Inflation is still extremely high. Uh, you know, they just signed a new bill to spend another $740 billion. It's like they didn't learn. Overspending is what caused inflation in the first place. So they're going to stop you and I from spending by increasing interest rates, but they're going to go out and spend $740 billion. So I don't think that inflation is necessarily done with yet. I don't think that the economy is going to be in a much better situation yet. I still think that we've got a long way to go before we see the overall market bounce. But nonetheless, guys, confidence is returning to crypto, and that's where it all starts. Now, just to touch on some of these levels of technical resistance that we have ahead of us, Dogecoin is going to run into trouble at $0.10 cents per coin. If it breaks through $0.10, cents, we could absolutely see it run fairly quickly to $0.12 to $0.13. Cents. And I know it might not seem like a, a very large run considering it was at $0.70 something cents last year, but nonetheless, a 20 to 30% gain from one resistance level to the next is very large, and that is a 50% gain from where we're currently at. Shiba Inu coin, if it's able to break through this level or this range between 16 and 1800 points per coin, 2000 points per coin is absolutely the next technical level of resistance on the chart. And I know another 400 points per coin, you might be thinking, oh, that's nothing, but another 25, 30% gain from where we're at right now. Guys, all of these gains add up to the exponential moves. And that's the reason that people buy Shiba Inu coin and Dogecoin in the first place. I wanna know what you guys think though. Do you think that both Dogecoin and Shiba Inu coin are an excellent indicator that confidence is returning to the crypto market? Let us know down in the comments below. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, don't forget you got the link in the description for Weeble. You're getting six free stocks. You got a free Discord down there as well. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.